Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Hope you are doing good. So today in this video, we will going to discuss the common question which is asked many a time on the comment section also. So what I think it is better to create a video and next time whenever I will get this comment, I will share this video uh, itself. Okay, so the question is which is better either the flows or the trigger or one should go with trigger or with flows. Okay, so here this uh, so the answer is this is completely can be decided on the requirement okay so what is your requirement and based on this requirement only we will decide which is the best option either to go with flows or to go with the triggers okay so uh, so nowadays as we know that flow is also now very advanced we have number of options uh, number of types of flows also platform triggers are also can be created using these flows okay so multiple things which are possible with the triggers now can also be possible using the uh, flows also okay so now one will going to think either i should go with flow or i should go with trigger or which is better so if we talk about flows yes they are easy to create all the drag and option uh, drag and drop options are there okay and in flows no test classes are needed so this is they are easily deployable after creation okay and similarly next side if we talk about triggers so for triggers one should know first thing is one should know about the coding okay and the second thing if you want to uh, if you created your logic there the next thing is you have to work on the test classes also for the deployments okay. so now let's consider one example okay you have an account object and on this account object there are only number of flows are created on this account object okay and triggers are also working or running on this object okay and other automations are also working on same object okay now you have another requirement and in this requirement it should be run over number of records and the related record also okay and so this is a bit complex requirement okay now one should think so whether should i go with flows or should i go with triggers because using the flows also we can run our logic over the multiple records and the related records also and using triggers also this is uh, this can be easily achieved okay so now in this case i suggest you to go with the triggers why if you go with the flows so there might be a chances that you in future you will going to face the cpu limit exception error okay this error uh, might be possible your client will going to get because already there are number of flows are working okay and flows takes more time to execute as compared to triggers okay and our flows which are created are working on multiple records and the related records also so in this case obviously it will going to take more time as the number of record increases in future okay and will going to take time and there are the chances in future we will going to face this cpu limit exception on this okay so one option is this it is better to go with trigger now this time okay now, the now. second case for the testing buffer so for the any exception or for any errors you get so we are most easily cached in the trigger but in the flows it is a bit difficult to catch the error okay so in this case also it is better to go with the triggers for the new requirement okay so this is how we can decide either to go with the flows or to go with the Triggers. So the one should go with flows if your requirement is short and simple okay and already on the record on the object number of requirements a number of automations are not working okay because of uh, this it will not going to take much time to execute and without facing any CPU limit error you will able to easily run your flows okay so in this case you can go with the flows and the second is if a person don't know how to code so in this case they can go with the flows okay but yeah if you are a developer and if the complexity of the requirement is uh, is more then it is better to go with the triggers okay and now the next thing comes if your requirement is based on the after undelete event so in flows till now we do not have this after undelete so in this case also you have to go with the flows okay so these are the various factor how you can decide whether to go with flows or whether to go with the triggers okay uh, so the best option completely depends upon your requirement and 
you have to check whether on the object uh, existing automations are already running or not or if they are more complex then it is better to go with the triggers okay and if much automations are not working and the and one which are working are not so complex then it is better to go with the flaws okay so hope this video help you all and if you have any question again uh, you can let me know in the comment section okay we'll meet you soon in the next video till then take care goodbye